whatever you do, five minutes, two minutes, small thing, big things, don't do it or do it sincerely. Insincerity is self-cheating yourself. Sincerity. This is one thing I am again and again repeating wherever I am teaching. Matra is telling you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. You are a rebel. You are that Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi mode. Just because there is apartheid, I will agree. Matra says close the eyes, I will close the eyes. No, I won't close the eyes. You don't have a problem. I don't mind a rebel here. I don't mind somebody closing the eyes. You know what is the worst problem? <laughs> closing one eyes for Matri and insincerity is a problem. I don't have a problem you saying I'll go inside for studies and studying only for 10 minutes, but in the 10 minutes there must be sincerity. My problem is when you say I will study and then between the book mobile is there. Instagram. Never grow up. Huh? This, this alone, I don't know. Even people become 42. You take a group photo. Somebody behind is keeping this like this. And some of you don't do it with your hand. So you add something. It's, it's a software feature, is it? Some of these girls, I can never see their picture properly. Because all pictures have some goggles, some, he, some ears. It took so much evolution for them to become human beings. When you see their DP, you feel they have again become animal. Sincerity. I don't have a problem. One of you attending one infinite path and saying, I won't go for the next infinite path. Or you have come, then you must be sincere in the infinite path. I don't have a problem. Somebody saying, I won't close. I don't have a problem. Somebody saying, I'm not convinced. A lot of people hug Mahatreya, but I'm not convinced still about hugging. So I will not hug. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. Somebody sincerely hugging Mahatreya. You see a few of them touching Mahathriya's feet. I don't have a problem somebody sincerely touching the feet. I don't have a problem one of you here. Absolute conviction. No, I don't believe in touching somebody's feet. So I'm not touching. I don't have a problem. Both of us have a future. I have a problem with somebody who does gymnastics. No, no one wanted to touch the feet also. But <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Trailer or what? That's my problem. That's my problem. Insincerity is my problem. I don't have a problem with somebody saying, today I'm not in a mood to study. Get fired, get shouted at, get scolded, get lectured. But today you don't have a mood to study, you don't have a mood to study. Or you have decided to study 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours. There must be sincerity of effort. Because insincerity is cheating yourself. We are not cheating anybody else. When I tell I am going to study and I am not studying, you are not cheating anybody else. You are cheating yourself. When you say, when Matre says close your eyes, you put your head down and open your eyes. My problem is you are not cheating me. You are cheating yourself. And once you have got into this habit of cheating yourself, nobody can help you. Nobody can help you. And in all the people who made it big in life, they may not have had a track record. Thomas Edison was a school dropout. Beethoven, one of the greatest music composers in life. His music teacher told him, anything in life is possible for you, not music. And Phelps was told that you have attention deficiency and I don't think you can express yourself in any sport. And all these people made it big in life because of one thing. It doesn't matter how the world saw them. They all had one quality within them. Sincerity. Sincerity. Anything. I want you to be a sincere rebel. If you have to be. I want you to be sincere in your surrender. Whatever you do, five minutes, two minutes, small thing, big things, don't do it or do it sincerely. Insincerity is self-cheating yourself. And once you get into this habit of self-cheating yourself, I initially used to teach computer programming. 
and there was an exam that I had to conduct. I conducted the exam. And after I gave the question paper to everybody in the class, I told them, I'm not going to invigilate this exam. I'm leaving right now. I'm leaving all of you with yourself. Those of you who want to be sincere, be sincere. Those of you who want to copy, copy. But I'm not going to be here and I left. I came back only two hours later. So one of the students there who was learning computer programming from me got up and she asked me, but this is not fair that you didn't invigilate. There are people like us who sincerely wrote the exam and there are people who have copied. Now both will get good marks. So it, this system is not right for genuine students like me. I told her no. Those who think that they have to copy to pass the exam will soon realize in life you can't copy somebody's program. It won't help. Those of you who have been sincere in solving whatever algorithm that was given to you, you are the ones who, and I can tell you 10 years later, Wherever I have seen sincerity in a student, what they have become in life, and wherever there was insincerity, they could never succeed with technology. You don't have to know a whole lot of scripture, whole lot of slokas or bhajans. You are going to pray only for one minute. In fact, for the first time today, we introduced infinite prayer in September 2011. After September 2011, for the first time today when the infinite prayer started, for the first three lines I kept my eyes open wanting to look at all of you. And I was so touched by some of you, so concerned about some of you. Because some of you genuinely moved into the prayer, some of you were not interested in it. My concern was this, even in prayer if you are not sincere, in what are you going to be sincere in life? And with some of you, for me, how you were till 6.59 did not matter. When the prayer began, there was so much sincerity. This child will make it in life. I know you don't like to be called a child. This young adult will make it in life.